What is up, my wonderful YouTube viewers? All 89,000 of you. In last week's video, we talked all about that juicy standard mileage deduction. Oh, it's so good. But did you know that there's so many other ways to deduct your vehicle expenses? It's known as the actual expense method, and I'm gonna show you how you can deduct all of your vehicle expenses you incur as a business owner in this video. Chipper is gonna help me out with it. Yes, sire, at your service. So sit back, strap in, let's go for a ride, and I hope you all enjoy the video. Buying gas, oil changes, car repairs, car washes, smog changes, DMV fees, car insurance, new tires, lease payments. It's all so expensive. Make it stop. Whoa, whoa, wait, Chipper, calm down. What if I told you there's actually a solution? You can actually deduct all the expenses you just mentioned for tax purposes. Wait, are you serious? I know from your last video, we can deduct our miles when we use our car for business, but now you are saying we can deduct our vehicle expenses? Wait. Even my car wash? Yes, I'm serious. Even the car wash. You have earned my attention. Speak, CPA person. When it comes to deducting your vehicle expenses for business, you can choose to either deduct the standard mileage or the actual expenses you incur on your vehicle, the expenses that Chipper mentioned at the beginning of this video. Now, which you choose is totally up to you, but there are a few stipulations to be aware of. Number one, the car has to be used for business purposes in relation to your side hustle, which is your part-time business, or to a full-time business if you're a full-time business owner. Number two, you cannot deduct both the miles and the actual expenses you incurred on the same vehicle in the same tax year. Did, did you just double dip that chip? Excuse me? You double dip the chip. You can choose one method or the other. Numero tres. Yeah, it's probably the extent of my Espanol. But once you take the actual expense method, now listen closely here, on your business vehicle, you cannot later on in future years go back and choose to take the standard mileage deduction. So let me just repeat that. Once you've taken the actual expense method in a tax year on a particular vehicle used for business, you cannot change the method you use going forward. You're pretty much locked in to using that actual expense method for future years. If I choose to deduct my vehicle expenses, does that mean I no longer have to track my miles? Sorry, Chipper, you still have to track your miles. But why? By tracking your miles, it's gonna prove what percent of the time you use your car for business versus how much you use it for personal use. For example, if you spent $5,000 in various vehicle expenses throughout the year and you use your car for business purposes about 40% of the time, you can deduct around $2,000 of those expenses against your business income on your tax return. In case you are ever audited, do your best to keep all of your receipts throughout the year that are associated with your various vehicle expenses. How do I know if I should take the standard mileage deduction or take the actual expense method? Okay, Chipper, that's a great question. What I want you to do is track both your miles and your actual expenses and compare the totals. Take whichever method yields the greatest deduction. But remember, once you elect to take the actual expense method, you cannot go back to taking the standard mileage deduction for that vehicle. Now, if you have more than one vehicle that you use for business, you can choose to take the actual expense method on one vehicle and the standard mileage deduction on another. I see. What if I have a vehicle loan? Can I deduct my car payments? Well, no, you can't deduct your car payments per se, but you actually can deduct the amount of interest you pay on your vehicle loan. And the IRS even allows us to deduct all of our lease payments if we're leasing a particular vehicle. Hey, I, I thought 
that you said you can deduct the cost of your car in your last video. Did you lie to me? Did you? Whoa, 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 whoa. Calm the heck down, bird brain. I didn't lie to you. You can deduct the, the cost of your car. It's through a concept known as depreciation. Uh, depreciation who? Depreciation. It's a tax concept that allows us to deduct the cost of our car or vehicle over a five year period, sometimes even sooner. Ooh, tell me more, please. There are multiple methods of depreciation options available to you that you can choose from, depending upon the type of vehicle you have. In some cases, you can expense up to 26,000 or even 100% of the cost of your vehicle in the first year of purchase. But it gets really complicated really fast, which is why we're gonna save a lot of this information for the next part to this vehicle deduction series. To find out how much of the cost of your vehicle you can expense through depreciation, simply multiply the cost of your vehicle times the business percentage use of that vehicle. And you're gonna find that business percentage use by tracking your miles, the miles you use for business versus the total miles you drive for other personal matters. The straight line method of depreciation is typically the easiest to explain, especially if you're brand new to this concept. Straight line allows us to depreciate or expense the cost of that vehicle evenly over five years. For example, if we purchase a vehicle for $30,000 on January 1st and we use it for business, 50% of the time, we can depreciate $15,000 of the cost basis over five years. Therefore, giving us a depreciation deduction of $3,000 each year. As you can see, this is where that information would appear on the actual tax form, assuming you file a Schedule C if you're a sole proprietor. Hopefully you get the idea from that. It's a little bit more complicated in practice, but that's the general overall idea. I think I'm starting to understand this. Good, because I have to run. But if you wanna learn more about special depreciation deductions when it comes to vehicles, make sure you're subscribed for the next video that I release in this series. You're not gonna to wanna to miss it. Until next time, you've been a wonderful audience. I will see you down in the comments. Live life on Caged. I work with various individuals and business owners throughout the United States. If you need professional tax and accounting services, feel free to reach out. You can contact me through my website at www.mikekellycpa.com. I will gladly meet with you if I feel like I can help you and I can provide you a quote of what it would take to perform the work. I enjoy helping people throughout the country. Take care.